This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. What is up my little sugar buggers? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel for the Sims 4 Realm of Magic overview. I am beyond excited to get my manitos on the Sims 4 Realm of Magic and see what it has to offer. And if you are too, go ahead and seriously, I'm not even kidding, actually slam the like button. Like do it. We need, we need to get aggressive with it because the hype is literally freaking real. So in this video, what you can expect is us to go ahead, take a little pixie doodle around the brand new world of Glimmerbrook. We're also going to go ahead and check out some of the brand new sims, maybe even some of the objects, items, all that jazz. Like I said, we're just going to kind of like scratch the surface a little bit. Um, so if you're afraid that I'm going to dive too deep, spoil way too many aspects of this pack, don't worry. I'll actually be doing all of that in my brand new Sims 4 Realm of Magic LP. So make sure you are a member of the Sugar Squad so you can be notified the moment that our LP drops. So what we're going to do is we are going to read off this beautiful info card that kind of tells us a little bit about the brand new game pack. Um, this game pack actually releases on September 10th. I'm not 100% sure as to what time it will actually release, but I'll have those details in the description. Discover the neighborhood. An unreal world awaits your sim. And when you stumble upon the secret portal, there are mystical discoveries at every turn. Learn the craft. Study up on classic teachings. Get experts to train your sim collect and cast spells to make sims fight conjure food or even turn others into objects create drinkable potions to make sims fall in love remove unwanted curses or live forever get real familiar summon a dragon fairy or the familiar that best suits your sims personality as a personal guard and give it a creative name Dress for supernatural success. Get in the spirit of sorcery with outfits that suit your sim. Collect wands and brooms to finish the look. Then decorate rooms with enchanting objects. Just a quick heads up, if you guys were interested in checking out the brand new cast catalog, I won't be actually showcasing that in this video, but I will have a video up specifically dedicated to create a sim coming up shortly after this one. So here we are at the world picker menu, and this is Glimmerbrook. So right off the bat, I can tell you, yep, it is definitely comparable to Forgotten hollow in the sense that it is relatively small at least in my personal opinion however i feel like these types of worlds with like occults and stuff they're meant to be kind of tiny kind of secluded away from the general population so it doesn't bother me too too much i also really appreciate the fact um that they have this little bar here it's called elixirs and brews we also have what appears to be a starter home at a whopping seventeen thousand freaking simoleons it's called Brooks Bridge Burrow, and then we have a free lot, so you can build literally anything that you want. You can build another home. You can maybe build a park or something um, along those lines. This one is called Glimmer Brook Watch, and over here we have uh, the Charm Family and the, I believe, the Amicable Occultes. I have no idea how to say that, but these sims, I'm pretty positive, are actually from the Realm of Magic trailer. Grace and Tomax have been roommates ever since they first became spellcasters. They have day jobs, but magic is their main focus, and they've got a friendly competition going to see who will become an adept spellcaster first. All right, so for uh, the Charm family over here, their bio says the Charm family has produced generations of distinguished spell casters as Minerva often reminds her children. Gemma resents her family's high expectations even though she secretly wants to make them proud. Daryl is an aspiring duelist who just got engaged to Amelia, a newly ascended spellcaster who has a lot to live up to. This is Gemma. I'm assuming this is probably her brother Daryl. Then we have Amelia who is engaged to Daryl and of course we've got the head honcho Minerva Charm. So I think um, we're going to go ahead and play with Grace and Tomax, you know, just kind of use them to explore Glimmerbrook a little bit. Am I saying that right? I want to call it Glitterbrook too all the time, like all the freaking time. All right. So apparently um, we are experiencing a little bit of a thunderstorm. Love that. Uh, I might actually go ahead and kind of like cheat the weather really quick because I want to I want to see what it looks like when it's not so freaking dark and cloudy. 
Um, I'm pretty positive Forgotten Hollow is super duper dark. And so I'm really curious to see what the weather on a good day looks like here in Glimmerbrook. So we're just going to at least um, kind of clear up the skies a little bit. I'm hoping that this actually works. I don't know because all of my mods are broken. And when I mean all, I mean all. So if by the off chance, uh, when you go into game and you notice like you have little green dots for everything, that is the King's icon replacement. So if you're using, you know, um, that mod to, to bring back the pre update i guess the pre-update icons from when they did the whole makeover on the aesthetic of the sims that's what's causing it and then also if you are in creed sim and all of your crap is green uh that is the columns mod you're welcome okay so here is their home now it is a little hello there <laughs> we really got up and close into that foundation um it's a little plain it is definitely a little plain jane i would really consider um kind of giving this a little bit of an overhaul now inside i'm wondering are there any brand new objects okay so this here is a brand new dresser i really like that i'm noticing every time she um clicks an object she's getting this brand new magic um what is it called magic pie menu and so she can infuriate this which kind of makes me feel like she could catch on fire i'm not sure i might play with it here in a second we'll have to see um but then we have these brand new armchairs which are also super duper freaking cute uh, i love the windows they are absolutely gorgeous and i think we even get stained i almost said slained stained glass windows as well here's a stove that is also new and we get a fridge which is awesome i'm not sure if this is a new sink but i'm pretty positive that it is because i i I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before or maybe this just no <laughs> this is actually base game that just goes to show you how much I actually get out of my little bubble not not very often apparently uh any new no nope, I don't see any new um like bathtubs or anything like toilets or whatnot uh this is a new desk i like that and it looks like grace here has a cute little symbol wrapping around her plumb bob all right so we got some new bookcases this really beautiful armoire um here is a little bench this rug also appears to be new uh some new flooring all that kind of fun stuff and i think that's about it some of these other things that we're seeing we've already um came across Ooh, what is this? Oh my god. I was curious to see if maybe this was like something she collected and turned into some sort of light, but it actually is just an object that you can purchase. And I think it's called Crystal of the Air or Crystal in the Air. Super duper pretty. Um, here is a brand new mirror as well as a single tan bed. I like that. And uh, as you guys can see, the lighting in Glimmerbrook is actually really pretty. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's very different as opposed to Forgotten Hollow that is kind of like dark dark and gloomy and super mysterious like I would actually have my sims live here um here is the river or the brook I'm not sure what this is called that kind of like flows uh through the middle of town I really love how beautiful beautiful this body of water is there's also a couple little fishing spots tons of collectibles here is a sage bush I'm not sure if this is brand new um or something that we actually got with outdoor retreat but I feel like sage is something that we haven't seen before but of course I could totally be wrong um, I was curious to see if maybe there would be like portions of this river that you could actually swim in since um Island Living has been released, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Now, there are a bunch of things that we could actually have Grace go ahead and check out. Uh, here's a lemon tree, which is kind of cool. I'm just kind of seeing uh, what exactly is just floating around <laughs> at Glimmerbrook, like what kind of harvestables we have. Now, as for the Sims, um, it looks like there's a brand new aspiration. Uh, I think it says like the per purvoyer of potions, so become a spellcaster travel to the magic realm uh, the magic realm is hidden deep within a vortex of swirling magic search for your mystical portal in glimmerbrook if you don't already know the spell that leads there hmm okay so where the hell are we gonna find the portal that's interesting i might actually try to have her go and do that and let me see if there's any brand new skills or anything i don't think that there is which is kind of interesting oh what's this needs oh this looks cool oh <gasps> 
This is so cool. This is seriously amazing. Look at this brand new Need UI. Um, okay, so we have a spell caster perk. It looks like she's actually um, on level three out of six. So this is where you start and this is where you eventually get to, I guess. So cool combination. Chance on potion creation that all the required ingredients will not be used. We also have blender arm, a potion crafting speed significantly increased. She also has insightful eye reading speeds are greatly increased uh, experimenter when experimenting and practicing Sims gain experience faster with less failures Okay, and then over here we can actually open up our spell bug uh, the schools of magic a spell caster is defined by what they learn and study What kind of spell caster are you? Um, Grace's spell book a spell caster is nothing without their trusty spell book every in ritual and elixir that a spellcaster has to learn is recorded here a spellcaster can learn new spells and potion recipes from reading magical tombs speaking to sages speaking to sages or by practicing magic all right so this is all the different types of magic you can practice you got practical mischief untamed alchemy and then here's another page we've got a whole bunch so it appears oh Oh my god, I'll let you guys go ahead and look. What is Horm Wardial? Right of Ascendation? Ascendation? I don't know. M mischief Magic? Oh my goodness, we can infatuate bur burglarate. <gasps> what does that mean? Is there burglars? I would die. I would die. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I would be so excited if there was. Alright, cool. So as you guys can see, there are so many different pages to this book. A lot of different things that you can learn, potions you can create. All of that kind of fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that there. Um, I really don't know how exactly she is supposed to go about practicing her magic. But uh, as you guys can see, Grace is wearing some of the brand new cast items that come with the Realm of Magic. She's got herself a beautiful hairstyle that I think is absolutely freaking breathtaking. This dress is super duper cute. And these leggings that your girl literally once had. I purchased them at Forever 21 when I was like 19. And uh, I thought it was a fox. I really, really did. So those will kind of bring me back a little bit about, you know, freaking 11 years or something like that. Anyway, um, okay, so what what next? Actually, you know what? <laughs> I want to go and check out really fast. You know what? The welcome wagon can go and freaking take a hike. Nobody cares. Is it just me or did the welcome wagon get nicer? Because I'm pretty sure uh, before it'd be like, oh, I guess we're not wanted here. And then ever since Island Living came out, it was like, oh, maybe next time. It's like, who the hell made them nice? Because I'm pretty positive I was dealing with their nasty attitude for like the last four years. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, <laughs> Maybe next time. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead on over with it to Max to the Elixirs and Brews, which is a bar. Kind of excited to see what this looks like. Um, I might try to find the portal um, just because, like I said, it's an overview. And learn how to make some damn magic. We'll play a little bit with that. I don't want to get like too in depth with it because again, I really want to be able to have a lot of like first hands on gameplay with my brand new Let's Play. All right, so Toma, Tom, I'm gonna call him Tomas. I can't with Tomax. Tomax just reminds me of like Carmax. It's a whole thing. I just can't. He's actually a writer's assistant, and he also has a very um, unique aspiration: spellcraft and sorcery. This sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts and this is what exactly <laughs> uh slinger of spells okay i thought that said swinger and also kind of looks like the pull my finger emoji which is all sorts of interesting he wants to travel to the magic realm does he have any special skills and what does their relationship look like because i swear they're like lovers underneath it all now they're super close um but they're definitely not like on romantic terms at all and if if you guys can see, um, you can see right there that she is an, I don't know how to say that, an al al alkalote or alkalote or alkalate. I don't, I don't know. Alkalate sounds a lot more 
like manageable. I think I can say that. <laughs> okay, cool. So here we are at the bar. It's pretty simple. It doesn't look too mystical or magical at all. It literally looks like it is just, you know, your local neighborhood watering hole. It's a little, it's a little underwhelming. There really isn't too much happening here. It's cute. And I like that they added it. Uh, but I can't wait for Kayla to go make this bad boy over. So, you know what I think we're going to do is we are going to uh, go and check out what Tomax can do. So he can practice mischief magic, practical magic, and untamed magic. And this is apparently how I guess your sim gets better. I'm really curious to see what it is that he does when he is practicing. Ooh, I love all of his like glitter and glimmer. Oh, he discovered a new spell called the Necro Call. Summon the dead from their final resting place. Ooh, spooky. Okay, all right, we might actually go and play with a few of these a little bit later on. And so the ones that are stamped are the ones that your sims know. And whenever you actually learn a brand new spell, you can just click open spell book and then you actually have to flip to the page in which you were learning that spell under. So for instance, um, untamed magic, I guess might be black magic. I'm not sure if that is the correlation. Uh, but yeah, that is where his new spell is located. Unlike Tomax, Grace is definitely a little more conservative with her spell casting. So she's outside of the bar practicing some practical magic. And I'm curious, do your sims possibly gain a particular type of reputation based on the type of magic that you actually practice similar to the reputation system in Get Famous? It looks like Grace has discovered a new spell. Keep your plants healthy and bug free. So it is getting a little bit late. She's got to go to the bathroom. I'm actually going to have her go ahead um, and head on home or maybe we could head on over to Glimmer Watch because I have a feeling, I have a feeling that over here there might be a trail or something um, that leads us to the secret portal. And since I'm already kind of favoriting Grace a little bit, I'm going to have her be the one to kind of go on this little voyage. I'm very excited. So there are a bunch of different things here. She does need to go to the bathroom, um, but we don't have time for that right now. So I'm just going to go and cheat her needs, make her happy. Uh, and then let me just go and uh, look for frogs. We're also going to go and dig that really quick. I want to see if maybe we get like some, some, something, something, something new, something cool. I don't know. But uh, where does this pathway go? Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. But I'm pretty sure I just saw Sim Oh my god, you guys. <gasps> there are people coming through this portal. And wow, what is his name? Silver Sweater. I I'll die. I will actually die. His name is literally Silver Sweater. His name is Simoline Silver Sweater. What? And, and, his, and his sweater is damn near silver. What the actual hell is that? <laughs> That is actually pretty funny. I'm, I, you know what? I, I love myself a good pun. And ooh wee, do you guys see the size of these waterfalls? Why the hell couldn't we live down here? I mean, if only The Sims 4 was an open world. Oh, what a beautiful place it would be. All right. So you know what, Grace? We don't care about all of the little nooks and crannies. What we actually care about is these mushrooms. Those look pretty cool. Okay. They're not, they're, they're yeah. You know what? They do nothing. Um, but. But we could go and travel to the magic realm. What I was hoping for is exactly what we found. We found Glimmerstone. I was wondering if maybe we would get lucky and find one of the new collectibles. Um, but this Glimmerstone actually allows you to travel to the magic realm without having to use the portal. But because obviously we're doing an overview, I would love for Grace to travel through the portal. Not as hard to find as, you know, the little text made it seem earlier. Um, but I'm glad for that because you know what, as much as I love like little Easter eggs, I, have the, I, have the, I, I just, I don't have the patience to worm. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare to cross the threshold? Yes, enter the portal. The magic realm. Grace has completed the first steps of the whatever aspiration it is that she has. And here we are in the magic realm. Oh my god. 
god it is beautiful look at all the meteorites and stuff let's just pause for a second i'm gonna scroll out as far as we possibly can go oh my goodness you guys the gifts they are true it is just as beautiful as the sim gurus have made it appear i love all of these aurora borealises they are so beautiful the little mystical floating rock and debris um this is beautiful and you know what like even look down there oh my god this is stunning so gorgeous and look at this big old freaking crystal that is one of the things i loved in the sims 3 you guys was the crystals and um i think this is what appears to be a another portal which is kind of cool and you can go to caster's alley oh, i was wondering how the hell you were going to travel to different parts of the magic realm so you portal from one place to the other if you want to go and explore a little bit i wonder if maybe um let me see i was gonna see if you could live here but i don't i don't i don't think that's a possibility what is this so here's a cauldron and it looks like we could actually have Grace come over here and experiment a little bit. And who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Sal Salim? <gasps> He's a witch! Oh my goodness, look at him. He just took off in his broom. Where the hell did he go? He probably didn't want his neighbors knowing who they were living next to all of these years. I'm actually really impressed with the Daryl's skills. And look at this big old freaking wooden spoon here. <laughs> Wow, what are these? Okay, I have no idea what this little glowing thing is, um, but I am very intrigued. Is this just a part of like the uh, the desk itself, uh, or is it something? Oh, she could. Oh, she could start burning things up. Yeah, I don't know if I would do that here in the magic realm. <laughs> I probably um would get kicked out. I would assume. What are these? So these are just lights as well. I was wondering maybe if there was a way to get like a like a little familiar here or something. I would assume probably uh, over on Caster's Alley. There are a bunch of like the cauldrons that you can go and practice your your spells on or experiment with um to make potions again don't really know what is happening here i barely ever well i've never played what am i even saying i've, I've never i've never even seen this before this is literally like a first freaking impression and of course in the magic realm you've gotta get your clorox you gotta windex those bad boys precious woods here people precious freaking woods it's really interesting kind of seeing like all of these sims that are here you know uh we could actually uh i feel like we could duel right here this 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 feels like it has some type of importance to it i'm not sure um what is down in the basement we have another cauldron Ooh, a really pretty fireplace of some type um and here is minerva i wonder if we could maybe um we know her so what is what is what does this mean oh so you know what i'm pretty sure these sims can teach you things so i'm actually going to have uh grace stop experimenting i love the fact that a lot of sims will come um and be able to use this at once you don't actually have to like take turns or anything now what is this sage a specialist of oh practical magic that's actually a, a lot more up grace's alley she's not really a mischievous type of sim she seems like she's really sweet so i feel like she would definitely want to take advice from um what's his name uh oh yeah simoleon i was making fun of your <laughs> your sweatshirt earlier <laughs> who's laughing now so we could ask for magical trading we can also go and ask him to teach us practical magic ask for right of dissolution i don't know what that is but we can even do a magic duel duel for ingredients for knowledge um artifacts let's do that too so she, he's teaching her a few things and i'm curious to know how much oh okay so right here it says your prowess in magical arts is gaining recognition a magical care package is sent to every alkylate containing everyday essentials for an up-and-coming spellcaster be sure to check your mailbox i don't think we have so we'll definitely need to do that um at some point here so uh is it how do i know though like what it is like how do you know what i mean like how do i know when we are like leveling up or when we're learning things like i just i feel like there's some way that you should be keeping track of this i finally figured it out it took me two days so if you click on your sims needs then you will be taken to your info panel where obviously down at the lower left hand corner there will be a meter so as you practice your magic by you know experimenting on the cauldron casting spells searching for tombs to gain experience your sim will start to kind of fill up 
up this meter and thus continuing through the ranks. That, my friends, is how you kind of keep track on your progress. Um, if you are curious as to how you kind of keep uh, track on your progress when it comes to like your spells or the type of magic that you're um, specializing in or interested in rather, uh, it's actually right here. So you can see progress one out of nine, zero out of seven, you know, so on and so forth, all that jazz. And each one of these types of magic um, actually has its very own icon that represents its house, I guess, kind of like Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would uh, throw that in there in case I confuse the hell out of you because <laughs> Lord knows. I was pretty confused myself that so I'm gonna zoom through a little bit I'm gonna let Grace get all of the knowledge she possibly can and then I will try to duel him for some artifacts because I'm so curious to see what those look like but hopefully we'll get some progress here and we'll actually learn something from this guy so we're almost done and I don't think he ended up teaching us anything but I mean there's so much to learn so I'm not really that surprised actually uh, Grace is going to go and wash her hands I'm actually gonna see if maybe um, we could try try to do that magic duel so I could maybe get myself some artifacts real fast and then I think what we're gonna do is probably head on over um, to the casters alley because I think that's kind of like the the marketplace district of the magic realm I'm super excited to see what it looks like I love stuff like that kind of reminds me of like Pike Plague's market but in the magic realm <laughs> I don't know it's kind of weird anyway um they're going outside so I'm not sure if there's like you know like a certain spot that they do this at nope they're just dueling right here now great like I said, she's still very new to spell casting, and it looks like we've oh oh okay maybe I underestimated our girl a little bit. Uh, we're, we're kind of acquiring a little bit of a crowd. We've got some onlookers here, Gemma. She looks she's looking real real sweet over there. I love the sights, and woo, we just sent his Nalga straight to the floor, and we got a crystal zoomer. I have no idea what it is. <gasps> It is a broom! It is a broom! Oh my god, set Crystal Zoomer as favorite broom. So, uh, hello, I want her to like start like riding this thing stat. Now, I don't know how the hell she rides her damn broom, but I'm about to find out. And all of this magic, oh my god, hold on. Let's go and check out their duel here. Um, it looks like Gunther and uh, Daryl are going at it. So I'm kind of wondering though, Ooh, is this like affecting all the sims or just some sims that are from our game because if all of my sims start practicing magic that might be just you know what I mean a little weird do I know how to use this probably not always use brooms this to wait this toggle is used to let your sims automatically use their favorite broom or not yeah I want I want her to use it but the thing is is like can she, I don't know, how to, how, ooh, fly here. Okay, there we go, I figured it out. All right, so it's not that complicated, Jen. Literally, it's not even that hard. I love all, like, the little flowers and stuff, like the herbs and the flowers and the sage hanging from the walls. Ooh, I am so excited. I love this. Let me know in the comments right freaking now, how are you loving it so far? I'm trying to focus as best as I can. So if I'm a little, like, you know, I'm <laughs> just awkward, I totally apologize, but what is she doing? She's going all the way to the portal to go fly in this damn broom what are you no 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 so no, we no, have no. flown into caster's alley and i was totally anticipating a loading screen but there are none so that definitely makes me freaking excited when your sims actually fly they literally fly and you don't have to sit through yet another one of those super absolutely freaking annoying loading screens and so here we are this place is obviously the shopping district uh we have a place where you can go and buy wands tombs familiars uh this one apparently you could buy probably crystals and um you can also purchase brooms. The only thing is, is once you go and haggle a price, the type of shop that it is disappears. So now I have no idea what it is that Grace is attempting to buy. So we have just got to go and explore. Uh, I'm going to go and see what we can purchase here. I am probably going to get Grace maybe a familiar. We can get an ancient wood wand, a bone wand. Uh, there is a familiar orb of a butterfly, raven, ooh, of the skull, a bunch of different tombs and things of that sort. I think I'm actually going to get her a raven. I don't know why, but I feel I feel like uh, Grace would be 
probably into ravens. Ravens are an ancient creature that remain steadfast along their favorite spellcasters. There's also a bunch of text before that, but there are just way too many complicated words for my tongue to even attempt to pronounce. I think we're gonna purchase one of those. Our grand total is $100, and let's just go in and throw in a bone wand just to be fancy. And so with that, we uh, we have a, a total of 275 simoleons. Next, we're gonna go and move on over to the, ooh, buy brooms and crystals. So there it goes. After she went and purchased her items at a haggled price, uh, you can now see what you can get from these um, individual shops. I was wondering maybe if this would be books and stuff, but okay, all right, we'll have to hold on here a second. So we can grab diamonds, a gnarled wood broom, a magic mop, which is totally giving me Hocus Pocus vibes. Oh my God. Uh, ruby, turquoise. Ooh, I just, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pur I'm gonna purchase the whole lot, especially uh, a couple extra diamonds. So, so throw those in chief. And then moving on over here, we've got potion ingredients. Oh my God. There is no way in hell hell we're gonna be able to go through all of these freaking things because there's just so much uh potion ingredients i don't know exactly what it is i'm gonna need so every i'm gonna grab everything except for like a death a death flower i don't like i just I, yeah no i don't know a potato a couple of those sound nice um how ooh, a potion of perk Purging. Consume this potion will reset all of your spell caster perk points, allowing them to be reassigned. And then also you can grab a zombie Carl. So now he has a purpose. So those were 595 simoleons. And I think that's all of the shops. There isn't anything else. You know what would have been cool? Maybe a place to grab a bite to eat because all of this shopping has Grace feeling famished. And there's even a few harvestables around here too. So you could go and travel back to headquarters or I'm curious if we go um, and scroll we could maybe just have her fly directly to no we can't okay so we have to return to the headquarters to travel to the other um to the other parts of the realm okay so like look at her crystal oh <laughs> she she's hanging on to dear life i love that that is seriously so cute and she fell straight on her caboose but i think she's actually learning something while she's riding her broom all right so we can go to the gardens next and then i think after that we'll go uh maybe to the dwelling grounds or was it called dwelling dueling grounds oh my god jen help me all right, so here's the magic garden. We can go and look for frogs in the well. There's also uh, ooh, a mandrake plant, which we can harvest. I'll have Grace go and do that. Is there anything else that we can do? Can we actually explore inside the gardens? I will be, I will be freaking disappointed if we can't come in here. Like, you have no idea. Oh, my God. Okay, so the, the, that sucks. The gardens, like, it's nice, but literally, like, it's not much of a damn garden. There's a couple harvestables. Um, you got, like, a really cool lemon tree, that type of a thing. Uh, but in terms of, like, I don't know, in terms of really being able to, like, sit here and maybe, like, read your spell book or do something fun, uh, there's really not much to be had. This is a little disappointing because it's really pretty, and I would have loved to be able to, like, actually go inside. But, I mean... In the grand scheme of things, is it really that big of a deal? No, not really. Oh, here's a valerian plant. Let's go and grab some valerian roots. I do like that if you don't want to spend your simoleons, you don't have to. And I'm not sure, but I think the sun is coming up in the magic realm. So you know what? We're going to go over to the um, to the, the dueling grounds. I love her broom. Her broom's amazing. Uh, and then after that, I, I think I might want to try to maybe make some potions. Can I make potions instead? That's actually something I'm way more interested in, to be honest. So we can cook mac and cheese. Wait, what? We can cook mac and cheese in these cauldrons? Get out of town. I'm going to have her go and cook some damn mac and cheese. I was not <laughs> oh, expecting yippee. that. Look at her. Look at her in her broom. The only thing that kind of sucks is you can't really see see them in full animation traveling um they kind of like cut out a little bit but it's still really cute and i thought for a second um these cauldrons were the same but I, I i they're they're different so this one you practice in and this one you can actually make stuff in. maybe they're the same i i honestly have no freaking idea i love this though <laughs> This is seriously so cute um i just kind of like wonder what's the purpose you know besides like learning the spells and stuff like what is the actual purpose that is something i genuinely want to know
Okay, so she's almost done making her mac and cheese. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, 12. Literally, like, 100 baby challenge. I don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. Jada is going to get herself a cauldron just so she can make freaking 12, you guys. 12 portions of mac and cheese. This is what it looks like uh, when the sun is up. Oh, my gosh. It is beautiful. It is beautiful, you guys. Like, Whew, that's actually an underestimate. It is absolutely freaking stunning. All right, so I want I wanted to maybe for Grace to go and brew a potion. Um, we can brew a potion of plentiful needs, and then the other ones that you saw here, a potion of ooh nausea. We would need a dirt frog, um, a potion of magical aurora or aura. We would need an emerald and a gold goldfish, and I think this potion will display a Sims magical aura. Oh, I would love to see that, but you know what? Maybe in our LP. Um, I think we're going to do the potion of plentiful needs uh, right after she goes to the bathroom because she's chowing down right now on her mac and cheese and there must be something in the cauldron because it is going in one end and out the other. So I'm going to have a go uh, and use the restroom really quick. We'll go and make that potion. Probably going to travel over to the, the, the dual grounds and then after that, um, probably going to wrap it up here. Granted, there are so many things to check out, so many uh, different potions and spells collectibles harvestables all that fun stuff um i will actually go really fast and check out the brand new um the brand new harvestables because i think we actually collected a few hopefully i can have her go over here and brew her potion because uh that snatch basket <laughs> she took my damn cauldron thought i never and I, I never thought i'd say those woods but uh hopefully we can squeeze in there really quick poor grace i feel like she's the type of sim that definitely gets stepped on a lot and i don't know why i feel like she's super nice and she wouldn't say anything to anyone she seems like that type of girl. Honestly, she really does. So I don't know how long it's going to take um, to make this potion. But it doesn't seem to be taking Grace a long time at all. And yeah, I think this one is just a nicer cauldron. There's really no difference. Like they do probably yeah they do the literally like the exact same thing so grace has just finished her batch of plentiful needs potion and right now she's tasting it just to make sure that it is good to go and she can bottle it up bottle it all up discard the contents or drink from it and as you guys saw as she was putting them into her potion bottles uh the contents slowly started draining and then they should be here in her inventory and voila would you look at that they have no value at all whatsoever and taking a sip out of the actual cauldron does indeed use one of your potions so i'm gonna have her go ahead and drink that i don't think it's gonna do anything because i'm pretty positive like her needs are fine as it is um but if on the off chance oh it actually had an adverse effect oh my god no okay because maybe the potion isn't that good why would it do that okay so there it goes it actually went back up and then it says we have the curse of awkward embraces oh no you're just really into hugging and touching others right now it's too hard to resist so i'm assuming for as long as she has this curse she is going to be going around just hugging random sims which yes it is definitely awkward as a uh, D once said now there's one last place one final destination on our quest of the realm of magic and that is the dueling grounds dueling why do i say dueling is it dueling it sounds weird okay so here are the dueling grounds and it looks like alice spencer kim is here see i don't know how i feel about that i i like seeing the townies from like the base game and the other expansions here but at the same time like i don't feel like everybody and their mother should be a spellcaster that seems a little weird to me uh but uh since we don't really know anybody that we can indeed duel um there's really nothing to do here but it's pretty cool like i like what i see uh oh i can oh wait i can deliriate her and i can infernate her you know what i'm gonna confuse her and then singe the hell out of poor alice spencer kim i do feel bad but i'm gonna do it anyways now where the hell did she go why did she go all the way back there to go and cast the spell are you a chicken she is and now i can't even see what the hell happened to this poor girl because uh she decided to go and cast it all the way over back at her decor I don't think anything actually ended up happening sadly you know what that's fine I'm gonna try this again hopefully it'll work this time um let's just do the deliriate nope she left okay you know what I have to go and find somebody else damn it you know what how about uh how about Gavin Richards over here cool thing is you don't need to know the sims you can just go ahead and mess with them and all is well uh there's a bunch of books on the floor we got the broomies wands of desire can I just stick those in my inventory real quick you know what I mean a five dollar discount thank you 
Okay, so she is deliriating Gavin, and ooh, it actually made her a little mischievous. And apparently, a lot of people aren't a big fan of her uh, of her misfortune. So you know what? I'm actually going to go and ooh, let me see. Uh, Mr. Practical Magic Dude gave her a talking to. I wanna I wanna see if we can go in infer infernate, basically catch this kid on fire for giving us some sass, even though he actually taught us a lot and we're using it against him. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't care about it, just let the fucker burn. I'm just playing. What in the world? Oh God, okay. You know what? He's singed to a crisp. I like crisps and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, before we wrap up this overview, um, I did want to go and check out Grace's new familiar. So here we are. Oh my God. And we can go ahead and pick a name and we can choose anything that we want, but there's also a suggested name and his name is Orion or Orion. Either way, I feel like that's a beautiful name for Raven. So I'm going to go and choose that. And uh, where the hell is my familiar? So uh, I don't see anything happening here. And when, wait, hold up, hold up. You know what? Patience. Patience is a virtue. There we go. We can summon our familiar. I love that. All right, let me see. Yep. And you can have multiples. Oh my God. I love that. So here is our familiar. And I don't know what exactly it is that he does. Active familiar. From having a familiar. Grace's familiar fills her with confidence. Familiars make your magic more potent and offer full protection from death. That is still not fully understood. There definitely is an advantage to having a familiar. I just obviously didn't catch that right away. And then over here we have charged. Spellcasting is more powerful, but success chance is slightly decreased. There's also the possibility of becoming cursed. So cast carefully. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this overview here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think of the realm of magic so far. And uh, yeah, with that said, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah.